Are you brand new to the Happy Planner? Did you just purchase or receive your very first planner, but you're not sure where to start, how to set up your planner, how to decorate it, and how to actually plan in your planner? In this video series, how to start a new planner, we are going to answer all of those questions. We're going to set up your brand new Happy Planner for 2021, and then in the second video, I will show you how to decorate your planner. The third video will be how to actually plan in your planner. And the fourth video will show you what to do next. So let's get right into it. Hello, I'm Katie. Welcome to the Planner Channel. Subscribe to watch new videos every week about creative planning and productivity. In this video, part one of the series, I am sharing how to set up a new happy planner. We are setting up the 2021 Disney Minnie Mouse color block layout planner from the Happy Planner. We are going to add in a few of these accessories, classic size metal discs with little Mickey Mouse ears on them, some half sheet classic size note paper, bookmark and dashboards, and some goodies from the Planner Companion Accessory Pack. Let's take a quick look at this planner. It is a classic size, which means it has nine discs. The Happy Planner also has a mini size with seven discs and a big size with 11 discs. The 11 disc big size planner is a full standard size sheet of paper and the mini is about half of a sheet of paper. This classic size is in between the two and I have found this is my favorite size to use. It has a year overview page with six months at a time, which is perfect for tracking things. It has a monthly overview page, which is like a standard calendar with your whole month at a glance overview. Also good for planning ahead or tracking. And it has a weekly two page layout. This one specifically is the color block layout. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six boxes, which you can use washi tape to delineate if you want to split it up into six boxes, three boxes, or any combination you want. The weekends have a little dot pattern in the background and a little dot grid at the bottom. The Happy Planner also has a currently page slash dashboard page in each planner and all of them are different. This one has a notes section with dot grid, some lines here for writing, and a little section down here for holidays, birthdays, and special dates. Leave a comment in the comment section and tell me which planner you're starting out with. One of the best things about using a disc bound system like the Happy Planner is that it's totally customizable. You can take the pages in and out like this. Make sure you're pulling straight up so that you don't tear the little cutouts. Another fun part about the disc bound system is that you can change the discs. And one of my favorite accessories to add on are metal discs or different colors of discs. In this case, they made us some super cute Disney discs with Mickey Mouse ear cutouts in them. These are black metal. Aren't they cute? So the box comes with 11 pieces so that if you have a big happy planner, you have enough discs to switch out for the big. And of course you also have enough for the mini. So we will only need nine of these for the classic size. And one of them says Disney on it. So I want to make sure to put that one at the bottom. Here's our special Disney disc. To switch out the discs, you'll want to take off the cover front and back first. Take off these extra cardboard pieces and those little sticky glue dots. Pro tip, undo remover is perfect for cleaning that little sticky stuff off of your planner cover. Okay, let's start off with our Disney disc at the bottom and all you have to do 
is pop the disc on like so. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Next, we'll take one month at a time from your planner and pop it in on the new discs just like this. Next, let's add in one of my favorite things, bookmarks and dashboards. I like to put the bookmark on the week that I'm actually planning in. So we will start with this first, January 1st this week. And sometimes these new dashboards and bookmarks have a clear plastic film that you need to peel off. This helps protect your bookmarks and dashboards from getting scratched before they go in your planner. You just punch them in just like this and that marks your place in the planner. Let's peel the protective cover off of this dashboard and add it to the back of the planner where we'll be adding some accessories. Next, let's take out this half sheet paper and add one to our first week. I like to use the half sheet pages to write my to-do list for the week. Now let's open up the planner companion accessories and add a few of those to our new planner. Each of the planner companion packs come with some different things. What you might find in there are plastic envelopes like these or tall ones like these. These are great for stamps, receipts, or cash. Folders like these. Dashboards, like this one and this one, which you can use for your vision board, bucket list, or goals. Extra paper. Sticky notes. Grid paper. With cute Minnie Mouse. And dry erase or wet erase dashboards. I'm going to add one of the Minnie Mouse envelopes, the Minnie and Mickey folder, and some of the Minnie Mouse grid paper. I usually like to put things like the envelopes and folders in the front. and the extra paper in the back. Your new happy planner is all set up. Now all you need is a pen. These are my two favorites right now. The Paper May Flare Medium Tip Marker and the Paper May Ink Joy gel pen. I prefer the ones that click so you can't lose the lids. And I like the ultra fine and the medium point. This one's a medium 0.7 gel pen. 
links to all of these goodies will be available in the description box and make sure you stay tuned for the next video to see how to decorate this planner. To get your free power plan checklist, which will walk you through the power plan system that I use for decorative and functional planning, there will be a link in the description box to the planner channel website where you can get that and join the newsletter. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, hit that thumbs up button. Stay tuned for the next part, part two in the series, how to decorate the happy planner. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.